This is the fifth video in a series of 10 tutorials on how to use the pen tool in Illustrator CC. In the last video, we learned another method for using the pen tool where you create the anchors first and then come back afterwards to adjust the curves. In this video, we'll explore how to use the reflect tool and how to recognize when you need to use it for your designs. This video goes with the pen tool exercises to learn Illustrator tools unit at digitalartteacher.com. So if you're teaching graphic design, you can check out the info bar at the top for more teaching resources. Now that we have about one third of our outline complete, to save ourselves a little work, we're going to do some copy and pasting on one side of the fleur-de-lis to the other. If you like, you could do Command C and Command V and try flipping it and resizing it to be in the right place by eye, but you know that I've got an easier way than that. We'll be using the Reflect tool to create the other side of this shape. It is hidden under the Rotate tool, so click and hold it to select it. Select the shape that you want to copy and paste, and then double click the Reflect tool. The dialog box that pops up will ask you if you want to flip it. Click Vertical, then select Copy, and voila, your shape has been copy and pasted. Now all you need to do is switch to the Move tool and move it to match the shape on the other side. Click on the shape, hold down Shift, and then when you move it, you won't be moving it up or down as you go. Now we need to create the middle shape. You can either choose to trace it by creating the curves as you go, or if you liked the method described in the last video, you can click straight lines at the points where the curves seem to change and then come back when you are finished and adjust the curves using the Alt and Command keys. Choose whichever method you prefer, but stop the design when you get exactly halfway finished. Your last point will need to line up with the top line. You will know that it's aligned when you see this pinkish purple guide stretching all the way from the top of the design to the bottom. You may need to zoom out a little to see this if you have zoomed in to see your curves. So click at the bottom of the design and then zoom in to adjust if needed. Press Command click to finish the design. If you've chosen to click straight lines and adjust them later, you'll now need to adjust these curves. I always begin with the Alt key and then come back with Command to adjust handles as needed. If you don't see these pink guidelines like I see when I hover over the different parts of my design, that means that you may need to turn on your Smart Guides. You can do this by going to View Smart Guides or by using the Command U option. Smart Guides will be an essential tool for you as you work in Illustrator, not just with the pen tool, but when working with other design principles as well. Now, switch to the Selection tool. Be sure that you have this whole line selected and follow the same instructions as before to copy and move half of your shape into the correct position. Hold down Shift, actually click first, and then hold down Shift to move it into the right spot. This time, zoom in really close to both the top and bottom shapes to be sure that your anchor points line up exactly. This will be important as you move forward to the next technique. And if you click on both of them, you should be able to see that there is no overlap. And once this is completed, you may move on to the next video, and I will see you there.